Hi, I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats at Hot Docs in downtown Toronto. I'm here with Donna Lo Cicero and Robert Campos. How does it feel to have your film, Three Still Standing, screening here at Hot Docs? We're just thrilled by it. I mean, this is an amazing festival. It feels like you're at the center of the documentary universe when you're here. And the people are great. We've met so many wonderful filmmakers. It's just, uh, it's just and the festival people. They're so lovely and warm, and we're so happy to be here. And the films here are fantastic. It's just an amazing array of documentary films. And fortunately for us, they made a uh, comedy showcase uh, and Tig Notaro and, and you know, there's a Howie Mandel film and National Lampoon. It, it's really a great company. So we're, we're thrilled and honored, really happy to be here. Well, congratulations. And uh, tell me what initially inspired you to make this film about the comedy scene in San Francisco in the 80s and the men that are still around, men and women who are still around. <laughs> well, we hate to date ourselves, but we were fans of com the comedy scene back in the 80s. We'd go to the clubs and we'd go to uh, Holy City Zoo and we'd actually see Robin Williams come in and uh, just surprise everybody and stand up and do an hour set. It was a really exciting time. Uh, we moved away to Florida and then um, we really missed stand-up comedy then. I mean, it, it, uh, Florida is not a funny place. It's, Very serious. Oh, well, no, weird. <laughs> weird, but not funny, you know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a colorful place, but we found we really missed going to comedy clubs. So when we moved back to San Francisco five years ago, we went to a comedy club and kind of went, there's something here for us because we love this subject. And there's something about the stand-up comedian that that uh, I've always been fascinated by the the ability to stand up there and and take an idea and break it down and make people laugh and also you know open the door to new ways of thinking about things and when that's done in a really smart way and a really effective way and you've got people laughing they're so open and I, I think it's a it's a really great art form that we wanted to honor in the film and these characters that you're following around there also have such a camaraderie amongst them and this friendship that seems to have been you know been going on since the 80s or maybe longer so can you just speak a little bit to the community uh, the comedy community we had no idea when we started this project or when we chose these three guys that they were friends oh. we didn't know that <laughs> um, but it turns out they've been friends for decades and so they know each other they know how to push each other's buttons and everything like that they're used to going to they used to go to the Holy City Zoo and that was a place where uh, it was really informal little place and comedians would go there to make other comedians laugh and they were great there, you know, it was like a real free-for-all and they wouldn't just heckle each other, although they did plenty of that. They'd help each other out with their routines. They'd say, you know, you do this and if you just do this, if you tweak this, if you wait a second before you say the other word, it's going to be funnier. They'd give advice to each other like that. So they've been around and Robin was a part of that community too. They've been around for each other's divorces and, uh, you know, d different you know, weddings and all, all the good stuff and all the bad stuff. Absolutely. It's, you know, every now and then something happens where I, I think elements come together and create a really great environment for art of whatever kind. And that was happening for comedy in San Francisco in the 1980s. And part of it was that Robin Williams and Dana Carvey were there and, and they lured people from all over the country. Part of it was that San Francisco wasn't a really big media city at that point too you know it wasn't you weren't trying to get on a, a late night show or or on television you were just trying to do the best comedy you could and so it created this really rich environment where you could you know make mistakes or take chances or try material that you would never try if you were you know if you knew an agent was in the audience you wouldn't do it you but since it didn't matter i think it created this great you know creative space and why did you choose Johnny Steele, Will Durst, and Bubbles as your main characters? <laughs> uh, different reasons. Uh, Will Durst is uh, seen as the class president of comedians. He's uh, been doing it for a long time. He and his wife, Debbie. Uh, Debbie is a really talented comedian, sketch artist, and, and uh, actress as well. Um, and he had so much to say about it. He's very... Uh, uh, poetic and philosophical about the whole scene. 
So we chose him first, and then everybody said we had to talk to Larry. Everybody. Larry is just such a unusual, strange character. If you see the film, you understand what, what we mean by that. Um, actually, the guys have a running joke because they couldn't understand why we were spending so much time following them. <laughs> and so they started telling each other that we were the crew from the future and that one of them had committed a horrible crime somewhere in the future and we'd been sent back to document uh, everything leading up to that crime. Um, so we're the crew from the future from here on. In yeah, it. yeah. <laughs> and we think they all did it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Johnny fits in. We didn't see Johnny in the 80s. He's, uh, he's a little bit, uh, uh, came a little bit later, late 80s. Um, but we saw him when we were considering doing this documentary. And he's such a force of nature. And he has so much to say about uh, the business and what's going on. So it, it felt like with the three of them, they really represented all, all these different ways of looking at com and doing comedy. And where's the best place for us to find out more information on Three Still Standing online? Uh, ThreeStillStanding.com is our website and you can like us on Facebook. Uh, in fact, please do. Uh, really appreciate it. And hopefully, you know, we're working right now to release the film widely and we'll have news about that hopefully very soon. Well, thank you so much and congratulations. Thank you, thank you Katie. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. I'm Katie Allman reporting for Katie Chats at Hot Docs in Toronto.